Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another educational season 10 Riven gameplay guide guys. Today I have a really interesting matchup for you guys. You guys have been requesting this so much in the comments guys and I finally found this matchup. No one is playing Vyra at the moment but I finally found her guys. Anyways, uh, this is actually a very interesting matchup because you can apply the second wind and Doran shield um, strategy against Fiora. So basically, uh, in the runes, you have second wind and you're building Doran's blade and you're combining both of it to survive the Qs of Fiora. I'm going to show you guys. If Fiora tries to do one single Q on us, she will not do any damage. Oh, this is a good trade. She didn't um, respond to my level 2 there. Alright. So... The way how it works, every single time that she is going to uh, poke me with her Q, she will do no damage. Completely zero damage. The reason for that is because my Dorn Shield is going to tank it, and my Second Wind is going to tank everything else. So what happens, I take completely no damage. Watch this, I'm healing back everything, guys. It's super overpowered. It makes this matchup easy win. Really easy win. There we go. So the way how this matchup works, um, we're going to have to freeze the lane on our side of the lane. And every single time she, uh, she goes for a CS, you want to trade her. Now, here comes the catch. You should be really careful with trading when she has parry. Because if you queue in, it's very obvious and she might parry. You got to know this. So what, hap what do I do most of the time? Oh, that's actually not a good one. Try to... Res uh, to kind of outplay her. So what do you want to do? Um, you want to kill in. Do like one auto attack. And wait for her to parry. Most of the Vyra players. They eventually start to parry. And they become really tilted. So just wait out for her parry. And then the moment you get her, her parry. You want to all in and then get a free kill. That's how this matchup works. It's not really that hard. It's just like you kind of have to outplay the Vyra. It's like a skill matchup. Hmm. Alright. Now the matchup is going to be really interesting. Because it all comes down to... Um, yeah, there. There it is. I can all in her right now. Yep, got her. So basically, um, if you can bait for your into using the parry, doesn't matter how you do it. As long as you get the parry and you still have your combo, you can all in, get a kill for free. That's how this matchup works. That's literally all it takes. Thank you. So, there's two things. First, the all-in method after doing the parry. Like, after she does the parry. And then you have the second thing, which, um, once again, I'll repeat it once more so you guys know for sure. Uh, if you're going to trade off Yura, you want to make sure you either have a minion advantage. So, you have more damage in the 1v1. Or, you freeze her on your side of the lane, you queue in, she will most likely parry because she expects you to use your W. You hold your W, you hold your stun, you wait out for the parry, and then you trade her. And then you back off. And that way you should be able to win trades and all soloing. That, that's pretty much all you have to know about this matchup. It's It all comes down to um, Bayura and her parry, that's all. There's nothing more to uh, to this matchup. Oh, and if you also have the reaction time to do it, you can... It's not necessarily um, reaction timing, but it's just you gotta know when she will Q. Make sure you actually, like, shield as many uh, Qs as possible. It's not really predicting. It's, it's kind of like... It's often really obvious when she's going to Q. And you can just shield it. Alright, now we're going to have to back off again. I'm just going to relax. I'll let the, the Vyra push in because she has mini in advantage right now. I'm just going to let her push it in. And as soon as it gets close to our side of the lane, I'm going to start trading her. Like, as soon as the lane resets, I'm going to start trading her. And then look for, like, a potential all-in. So now it's just a matter of waiting. Nothing more to it. I'm gonna, I need to make sure to actually freeze this lane here. Because I want to play around my side. 
and the best way to do that is by using the, the brush to stop the minion aggro. Now, unlucky for us, she actually watered the brush because the minions just went right through it. Let me straight here real quick, proc the bone plating and then back off again. Oh wow, Mr. Kenna. Okay. There's another way how you can trade a Viora, but it's more advanced, a lot more advanced. Okay, so there's another way to trade for Yora, but this is only possible if you're around your side of the lane. So, what you want to do, you want to shield in, Q, W, and then back out again. Or you want to shield, Q, and then wait for the parry, and then go out again. It's very advanced. You should probably not do it too much, because it's very predictable. But that way, it also works very well. I got her. There we go. And that's like trick number four. There's multiple ways how you can do this matchup. You can also, like what I did, you can go into the brush, do all your Qs, charge it all the way up, and then look for a fight. She will not expect a third Q, so you will always get like a free third Q off. Like, these are all the things that you have to know if you're going to play the Riven against Fiora matchup guy. Like, this is all you have to know. In this matchup it all comes down to um, kind of outplaying Vayura's parry that's all you need to know okay now we get this and then we back off again all right now I'm probably gonna get this question in the comments like why are you playing ignite you should be playing tenor point yeah ignite ignite players are bad because you know, they play Ignite. Okay, so just just to clarify. Just to clarify one thing. I'm not winning this lane because of Ignite. I'm winning this lane because we're making the right exact moves that has to be done in this matchup. Just so you know, if you don't play this lane right and you play with Ignite, you're not, win you're not automatically winning. If you're playing Ignite, you're not automatically winning. Just saying that in advance, I know these comments will be in there. I'm just playing with Ignite because it makes the lane overall a lot easier in terms of all lanes. But it doesn't necessarily win you the lane. I do recommend you guys Ignite though because um, if you use Ignite, uh, you can use that as a tool to remove Vyra's Grievous Wounds. Like uh, the, 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 the lifesteal. Basically Ignite um, can stop the healing from Vyra. So what does that mean? You don't have to buy Execute anymore. And that's why I'm playing with Ignite. It helps with the laning phase and it actually removes the healing from Viora. And those are two things. Really OP. Okay, let's push it all the way in. And let's place it worth Oh, she's actually roaming. Okay, that's, that's also very good. Nice. Okay, we'll, we will get like one plating. Nice. He will come back. We will have more XP. Okay, when whenever she comes back, I'm gonna all in her. Oh, she just came back too early. Hmm. Okay, no problem. Hmm. I'm gonna charge up my Qs. Oh, actually, I have something better. Oh, I wanted to... Huh? 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 Where are you coming from? <laughs> you cannot proc your ultimate. <laughs> I was trying. Completely outplayed, man. Here comes the catch, guys. If you're playing against a Viura and you have no space to fight her because your abilities are on cooldown. If she's chasing you, just walk to the wall and block the part where sh that she needs to hit. You know, you guys know how Viura works. Just block it with the, with the wall. And yeah, that's it. Like there's so many ways to outplay this, this champion. There's so many ways to outplay Viura, guys. 
a lot of ways. Okay, now we push it in again. And then we're going to go back to base and uh, buy death stance. Uh, she's no problem for me. See ya. I can just go back right here. This is also what I um, recommend a lot. If you're going back to base, don't actually go back to base here. But actually go back to base there because... Uh, I gotta be real honest with you here. I'm not, I don't need that. I gotta be real honest with you here. Riot made... A, I don't know why Riot made this, this terrain here. Like it's actually completely useless. But it, it's got one function. It's like backporting to base here. <laughs> people don't. People generally don't expect people to backport right here. <laughs> so it's got like one really good function. Like it's it's got something, guys. It's like people never go there. Like so many t so many countless times I've gone there to backport to base and I've avoided an entire fight or like an entire death. That that piece of terrain is a lot more OP than people actually think it is. It's 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 a nice way to backport. You guys coming? Mm, I got her. Oh, I got to outplay. Oh, okay. Nice try. Okay, you got you got into my tower range. That was awkward. Okay. Uh, well, I'm too tanky anyway. Okay, like even if I do, uh, <laughs> even if I stand in an entire creep wave with everything on cooldown, I still win a one v one because I've already got my death stance. That just, uh, that makes clear that I'm going to carry this game, that there's nothing to stop me. If Nudir cannot stop me, and if your ultimate cannot stop me with, the, like, with Tabis, then it's over. It's just a matter of snowballing. Okay, let's take the tower now. Udyr is probably going to come topside again. I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. Oh, I was kind of looking. I was kind of waiting for the parry. Okay, he still gets him. Yeah. Hey, she can. Oh wait. All right, see ya. <laughs> All right, see ya, Katarina. Nice mechanics, man. See ya. <laughs> I forgot that Katarina can uh, jump towards for some reason. Okay, so now we can buy um, lots of interesting stuff. Let's just go for the classic ninja tabbies. And we can buy war 2. Now, okay, so just to clarify, uh, why are you building ninja tabbies against the Vayura? It's really bad. Okay, just to clarify, uh, ninja tabbies against Vayura is still pretty decent because she still does damage with autos. It, it's not like her entire damage is full, full true damage. So don't worry about it. Ninja Tabis is still pretty decent to rush on against Fear, or at least like, buy at least just to buy in the game. I wouldn't, I would never recommend buying Ninja Tabis as a first item, never. But if you already have a Death Stance, why not, guys? It's worth. It. Um. Okay, we need to kill these guys. Uh, they're actually walking the other way. Really? They're walking the other way. Okay. 
they actually got away just by walking all around. That's not gonna stop them. I mean, that's not gonna make them any any stronger. Like, they have a single catch on my on my mid lane. Wow. But I mean, I'm like super fed right now. I can just kill anyone. So I wish them are very well. Good luck. Nice try. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. I appreciate it a lot, man. Now, let me get that dragon right now. That can right now is doing work. People are starting to die quite a lot against Katarina. Which is very surprising, honestly. Oh, I want to get permanent CC. I need to life steal something here. Okay. Mm, I would like to life steal something here. That was great. She actually has all those skills, man. She is a lot more fed than I actually ever thought she would ever be. Maybe if I started the fight off with a double cast, I think it could have killed her. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. Hmm. My team is actually throwing it away. Sur really surprisingly. They're giving Gatorina so many kills, man. But that's, that's not going to stop us. She's only going to be an issue about... Oh, she's actually one level ahead of me, too. Okay. On a very serious note, I hopefully my team doesn't all die too much right now. I want this to be like a quick game. Okay. We're going to be massively farming a lot. And by the end of like 5 or 10 minutes, we should be a lot further ahead than Katarina is. Hopefully, they're getting done. They are being... What? A single Katarina is diving two men with CC under the tower. In all honesty, I cannot believe what I'm watching here. <laughs> this game is going to be difficult. Okay. We're gonna farm up her a lot. We're gonna farm up a lot, man. To stay ahead of Katarina. The game is going in a bad direction. Because they have Inverno Dragon. They have a Mountain Dragon. And uh, my team is all dying over and over again. And she might know I'm here. Bait. Ah, it was a bait. Katarina's getting all the kills, man. She went from like two, three kills to like 11, 12 kills out of the blue, man. Just random catches. And people are getting like, she can s randomly start diving people now because she has like all the dragons right now. And the worst case scenario, Everyone's getting like cats over and over again including myself because like she has like a thousand kills We got no vision anywhere around the enemy jungle. It's really bad like um, We won the early game really hard but People started like dying afterwards getting caught. It's still not too bad like we can still We can still carry this But I need to play a lot more careful now because there's no wards. People are being caught a lot. I can start off by catching her. She has no man anymore, so free kill for me. I'll just uh, use my ignite on her. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna farm out as much as possible so I can stay ahead of Katarina. 
that's the main priority right now. It's not necessarily a massive problem late game. Katarina is really hard, uh, really easy to kill, and Udir becomes really use, uh, useless after some time, and Fayura is out of the game. So we can still carry this one. It just needs to take a little bit more time. Also, Caitlyn is not that far ahead either. Gotta ping my team also a thousand times. Okay, let's let's farm it all up. The dragon was also spawned in about eight min. Uh, I mean, one minute. Let's get the next one too. 50, 55 seconds. Uh, I'll just quickly go back. I have to be at the next uh, team fight. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna buy another one. My next item is going to be the Hex Shrinker because Katarina is too fat and everyone keeps, uh, keeps uh, giving her kills. Catch that Udyr. Nice. This one is going to be ours. Mm, we can catch her. Yes, here we go. Oh, she is so much faster than I am. She's baiting. Again. Uh, this time for somebody else. Surprised me how fast Fiora is. Uh, considering uh, she doesn't actually have a Trinity Force yet. HP on the camp. Wow, people are still getting catched straight up in the lane, guys. Straight up, they're just grouping mid lane and it's working. Uh, I cannot fight him. He is back up. Hmm, okay. Katarina is coming bot side. I know what kind of game this is going to be. <laughs> I cannot believe what I'm watching. Okay. One win has come. We can at least fight the Viora, but we don't have any vision, which is a big problem. Also, the bone planning of Viora is really annoying to deal with. They already got the camps there, which I'm definitely not being surprised. She's also the same level like I am right now. I don't think she will fight me. Okay. Oh man, people are being caught still straight up in the laning phase. They're just walking up to Katarina and they start fighting. I cannot believe it. Just don't fight. <laughs> don't do it, man. Okay. Oh! 
Man, people are so lucky this game. I can't believe it. The camp is like, my camps are being stolen with 1 HP. And now this guy's running off with like 1 HP as well. What is the chance, man? I cannot really believe what I'm watching this game. Okay, I think this guy could be going back here. Oh no, he's not okay. Good. We will get my Hex Shrinker soon too, and that's going to, going to help me survive against um, Katarina. I might actually consider buying the Last Whisper first. Because that's going to help me uh, to 1v1 the Fiora, which is much more important at the moment. But since my teammates are like feeding really hard, I might have to group up and still buy Hex Ranker. Because if I leave my team right now, they will get catched. They will go in and they will die. So, yeah. Okay, I can risk it by going for this. But... It will be risky. Because well Hex Shrinker is also risky because I need I need my last whisper for the for Viora but and for Udir. Those are two things. Oh the Katarina has Zonias too, so they're both really important. Can't really miss out on any. Dragon will spawn in 20 seconds. 14 seconds and they're going barren. Trading a dragon over Baron when we already have a rough time is a really bad, bad idea. Oh man. That's a big throw. Really big throw. I don't care ba about Baron if your if my team cannot even walk up to them. What does Baron even mean? Really bad call. I don't know whoever made that call, but whatever. Okay, we need to force a fight right now. And they have they have another dragon, guys. I am absolutely tired of season 10 with their Inverno dragons and their mountain dragons. It's, it's really tiring to watch. Just saying, guys. I don't like this season if it comes down to dragons. It's absolutely ridiculous, man. Playing as a top laner, you cannot even get close to dragons. It's just a pain. Okay. Let's start fighting them. Caitlyn is there. We could catch her right away. If we could get that Katarina, we might be able to start a fight. Okay, she's running too fast. I'll get the red buff. Mm, we can catch her too, but you know, whatever. Uh, they will do it for us. I'll just quickly get some more camps, trying to get as many as possible. Okay. That's not too bad. I could die for on her tower. <laughs> she's using everything, man. She's using heals. She's using everything she can. <laughs> okay. Well, I got my level 18 right now. Very soon. Just need like two more camps, maybe three. Oh, hello there. I'm not gonna fight him because I know there's other people. Okay, you're asking for it. Where are people coming from?
Where are they all coming from, man? I knew that somebody was coming, but I did not expect like 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 four men coming at me. Where are they coming from? Did they TP or something? I knew people were coming, but not so many. Okay, for the final item, we're going to be buying the Guardian's Angel. Now that's going to help us survive the team fight and will stop basically anything. Unfortunately, I lost my guardians. I lost my flash. Oh wow! Hi, schat. I'm going to have to record. Okay. If we win this next upcoming team fight, we should be able to win. One catch. <laughs> What's Katrina doing here? <laughs> Yeah, look at the damage we're doing because um, they have so many dragons. Got to group up. Only thing we can do, guys. If we catch that Katrina, we now, we could maybe end. All right, this is probably going to be a loss. <laughs> oh, man. Now, the problem is, I think we could have won this game if my team decided to go Dragon instead of taking the Baron. Because now they have Inverno, they have more damage, they have two Dragons that gives them like more armor in general. My team is not going to beat them if they have that much armor. You see, if, if, even if I had like Last Whisper, we still couldn't kill Katarina. And she only has Sonia's, but she's still being too tanky. Alright, whatever. At least I've shown you guys the way how to do the for your uh, matchup, guys. And the, the early game and stuff. Unfortunately, it wasn't a win. Just one of those games that you just can't win. Maybe if I did some, like, tiny things uh, different, maybe we could have won this, but... Just unlike what happened in, like, the mid-game. Anyways, uh... Once again, you can find the four runes, full build. You can find all in the description below. And uh, with that being said, guys, let me know what you guys think about the Riven Vera matchup. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my secondary YouTube channel. And yeah, with that being said, guys, next time is going to be a win again. Thank you for watching. Peace.